Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Briar Villa South. That's Briar Villa South, just located on the southwest side. We're in front of 16303 Angel Island. That's 16303 Angel Island. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home. It sits on a corner lot. It's just under 2,400 square feet. And it was built in 2000. The lot size, because it is a corner lot, you have a little bit larger lot, which is a nice option. And it's about 7,200 square feet. Exterior of this home is a combination of brick and it looks like wood siding. The brick is obviously low maintenance and in decent condition. You will probably need to pressure wash and paint the hardy plank or the siding up top. The home currently does not have a fence around it. So if you wanted to, you would definitely put up a nice fence, give you some privacy. This piece of damaged siding, it's actually hardy plank, which is nice. It's a very durable siding. Although this one's broken, if you want to fix that and fix a little bit of the trim around the windows. Some of the windows even have a little bit of wood rot, as you can see here. So come in and repair or replace that. Another pretty easy fix. All in all, it's a nice home. It has a lot of potential. You have this nice park right behind the home. So when you construct a fence, if you put a little gate there, you have access right into that park. But I do like the elevation of the home. A few of the windows are damaged. You'll want to probably repair or reseal those. Maybe get rid of this wrought iron gate up front. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, when we step inside, we are immediately into your formal living and dining room to the left here. You have two formals, which is nice. Formal living up front. You have your formal dining here. There is a little bit of damaged sheet rock, as you'll see on the corner here. You'll probably want to repair or replace that. Now we come over and we actually, through the formal dining, have access into your kitchen. It's a decent sized kitchen. And one thing that I do notice when I step into the kitchen is I'll pan up and you'll see that the ceiling here is bowing. So you're going to want to probably refasten that sheet rock. There could have potentially been a water leak upstairs that caused that to bow down. It's a pretty easy fix. In the kitchen, you do have a little breakfast or a little dining area here. And that in turn opens up into your kitchen. And then this in turn opens up into your big family room here. So you have a really large family room, which I think is nice. You have a door that takes you outside. And I like all of these windows because it gives you lots of natural lighting. Now also inside is where we'll have your access to your garage. Now it's gonna be a little dark in there. The garage has been finished out. It's a standard two car garage, but when you come into the garage, you're in your living room. And you have your little dining area, breakfast area here, your kitchen. To the left here in the kitchen, we have a little coat closet. And then we have a little half bath here underneath the staircase, which is pretty standard, pretty basic, single vanity and a commode. Downstairs needs painting, needs a little bit of sheetrock work, some trim rock work around the door and flooring. So we make our way upstairs. The carpeting is pretty dirty. When we get upstairs, we do have a second living area, not terribly large, but at least it's a second upstairs living family room. If we turn to the right of the staircase here, we have bedroom number one or your master bedroom and your master bath. This is a really good sized bedroom. It's located just above the garage. So you have a lot of space. We come over to your master bath. Master bath has a single vanity and it has a nice upgrade of a jacuzzi tub and a second vanity here. And then you have your master has a shower and then a little walk-in closet. Actually not too little, it's a good size walk-in closet. You have a little linen closet here in the bathroom. And then we have your water closet or your commode. So you do have dual vanities, one on each side of the master bath, which is a nice touch. I do like how on the other side of the staircase is where your other bedroom. So you have your afforded a little privacy in the master. To the right of the master here, we have your utility room, your washer and dryer connections are here inside. So that's nice. Up and to the right of the living room here, a little coat closet, pretty basic. And then across the staircase over here is where we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. We have a bathroom, full bath number two here, which is a pretty standard bathroom. And then we have 
your bedroom number three right up at the front of the home so that's about it this bedroom is going to need a fresh coat of paint it's going to need some flooring throughout the home but that's about it let me give you a summary well, there you have it, 16303 Angel Island. That's 16303 Angel Island, a nice three-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath home over in Briar Villa South. This home is listed right now for only $155,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.